Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dermar again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna walk you through an effect that I created with Visual Effect Craft. And this effect is gonna be basically meteors that I created last time, but they're gonna have some modifications. So what I wanna show you is what modifications I did, how does this actually work, how you can create it on your own time. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing in this video. The first thing that I wanna show you is this is the scene that we created last time. And we have fire created with different particles, a bloom, and it turned out to look really, really cool. So in this session, what I'm gonna be doing is like what like I was saying in the beginning of this video, is creating mete meteors. And those meteors are basically gonna look similar to what we did before. So let me show you that other scene when we did the uh, space. So if I click on space, it's basically these are some of the meteors that we created. The ones that I'm gonna be creating are gonna be based on the fire that we have here. We're gonna have a little bit of a different look. So let me go into, let me go ahead and create a new scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this fire scene. And we're just gonna duplicate that fire scene. And this is gonna be called now meteors. Perfect, let's just double click it to open it up. And in here, I'm gonna do a couple, couple of things. I'm gonna remove the wood because I don't want this scene to have that. I'm also gonna remove the base. We don't need the base. And we also don't need the wall. All we need is a Meteor game object. And I'm gonna rename this to Meteor. Perfect. And the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the asset template and I'm gonna go back into my finder and I already created that. So I'm gonna go into project and instead of calling this one fire, I'm gonna call this one meteor.vfx and I'm gonna drag it and drop it into visual effects. Now we can minimize this finder. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this dot to open it up and associate my meteor with the game object. So give it a minute to load and you can see that we're starting to get a meteor that is falling down. And also if I go, okay, perfect. So also if I go to edit, I wanna be able to open that. So it's gonna open the VFX graph, the visual effects graph, and we can see that. So let me walk you through what this is doing. And the next thing that I'll do is we will go ahead and make this cooler. So we can have multiple meteors, we can have stars and, and actually mimic the movement of this meteor in the space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and focus on multiple things in here. So this is a fairly simple setup that we have in here. And, and that shows you how powerful Visual Effects Graph is. So the first thing that I have is a, you know, a spawn and the rate is set to 25,000. Then I have my initialize, which, which is set to 24, 26. The, the reason why I made this number so low is because I wanted to have this kind of look, this kind of pixelated look. If I make it too large, it's just too many particles. So the capacity in here is very important. Otherwise, it's not gonna make it look good. So if I, for, for instance, if I, if I change this to 12,000 and I hit, you know, and I save it, I'll show you what happens with, you know, with this and how it's gonna look like. So that, that doesn't really give me the look that I want. It still works, but it's just too fast. So I'm gonna just delete that and then set it back to, and it, this is much smoother, I have less particles. So you may wanna play with the capacity and see how, you know, how much you like it. The other thing that I have here is set to, is the size to 22.4 on the Y axis. I also have the position, the, the initial position is, is set to a sphere and I'm using a surface and the span mode is set to randomize. The radius in here is very important because I have it set to 0.39. That's you know one of the reasons why it's a small. The, the other thing that I'm using here is the lifetime of the particle. The lifetime, the minimal lifetime is set to 0 0.005 and then the max is set to, to two. So if I were to set this to, let's say that I set it to 10 for instance, Kind of see that that changes the way that the this look it doesn't really look where it doesn't look okay anymore. So this part is very important. So I'm just gonna set it back to what we had. There we go. So that looks way better. So the other thing that is important here is the update because this is actually what's making what is doing the the, the forces. So I'm using a vector field, and the dead encoding is set to unsigned normalize. 
the mode I have it set to relative in the vector field is really important. So that one is set to basically a vector field. And the field transform, the only thing that I said here is the y, and that's why it's causing you know the particles to move upward. So negative 100 is what I have on the y-axis, then the which is what shows in here. This is just basically just expanded. Intensity I have it set to 0.83, and drag I have it set to one. So you'll you'll be able to look at some of these settings because I'm gonna be checking this in, in into source control. So and now what I have so now that I have the update method, the, the particle system that I'm using is the lead mesh output, and that's what's casting, you know, why you're seeing some of those squares. Let me go into the scene view and show you that show you what's happening here. So so because I'm using a quad, that's why you're seeing quads all around on this pond of the particles. If I were to change this, so you can easily change this to a cube and you get a different look. And you kind of see that there are cubes now showing up. I could easily change this to see. You know, I wanted to see capsules, I wanted to see cylinders, I wanted to see planes or spheres, you can do that. So that actually looks really cool. So I'm gonna go back to Quad. I think Quad works for the style that we're looking for, which is a little bit more of a pixel 3D style. So, and then some of these settings I, I didn't really change. So these were, these were the default of the lead mesh output node. So the only thing that I changed was the Quad and also the soft particle fade is set to 2.91. I have the smoothness that changed and also the metallic I have it set to zero. And the base color map, I'm just using the default checker. And also this one is very important. This is the set size on the particle over time. So if I change this to you know a larger number, you're gonna see that that starts to change the look and feel. I can make these very small and that actually gives it a really cool look too. So it's gonna undo that and set it back to 0.2. The, the other thing that is important too is the, the fixed orientation. I have it set to fixed orientation and then I just basically play with some of these settings until it gave me the look that I was looking for. So yeah, so on the front I'm using 0 0.9, 0 and 1.9. On the up I'm using 5.56 and then so on for the other settings. Then the other thing that is really important is the, co the color and alpha over time. I'm using the mode called color and alpha. You also could do color or just alpha. In the color composition, I'm using multiply, and alpha composition, I'm using multiply, and then I'm just basically modifying the gradients. That this one is very important because it's what's going to give us that look that we're looking for in here. I could easily change this to you know have different colors if I wanted to. I could see, and the cool thing with this is actually happening in real time. So if I change the color here to be black, or or maybe I want it blue, you can see that that's happening in real time. So I'm just going to undo what I just did, set it back to yellow and have that you know be that so so this is all basically everything for that setup so what i want to do next is i want to give this scene basically put my artistic hat and give this scene a little more life so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate so first let's go into scene and i'm going to basically focus on there we go in that view and i'm going to duplicate this and let me make sure that i'm duplicating it okay where i want it and I'm gonna move these up. And this one we're gonna call, the first one we're gonna call Meteor underscore one. This one we can call it Meteor underscore two. And I'm gonna duplicate two again and then just basically put it on, on this area. Maybe this one is a little bit you know, closer. This one is on the back. So I think that that's gonna work. Or maybe we can just move that one up. Let's see how that, that's outside of the view. Let's do something about uh, yeah, we can place it there and we can change the camera. Okay, and then this one is going to be called Meteor underscore 3. And then if we go back to our game view, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my camera and I'm going to change the field of view a little bit. So we're going to end up with 90 on the field of view. Excellent. So, so that's still cool, but that doesn't really give me a lot of motion. So what you can do is I'm going to save this view and we're going to go into another one of our of the scenes that we created before and I'm gonna go and borrow a couple of couple of things well actually just one thing so we're gonna be borrowing the stars and you can basically turn this into a prefab if you didn't want to have to go to another scene for now we're just gonna copy it I think it's fine if we just copy it and then we can go back to meteors go back into hierarchy and we're just gonna paste the stars and and that looks cool but that doesn't really give us the look that I'm looking for these these meteors are moving downwards which i 
So the, the, the movement on the star should not be the movement that we're having right now. So I'm going to change a couple of settings that I already saved for us. So this is going to be 0.25 on X. And, and actually, this was can be can stay the same because I, I don't think I need to modify X. What I need to modify is the rotation. So let's rotate these two. X to 159. One, let's see, Y can be that way. And then C, I'm just going to do like 46. In the, let's do one on Y. Perfect. And I'm still not getting that just quite right. So let's see if we can go into our scene view. And it's starting to look a lot better. But I'm going to be tweaking. We don't need the visual effect graph anymore. So I'm just going to close that tab. And I'm just going to focus on this area. And in fact, we could actually. That's what I was looking for. We can resize the, the starts. And I can move this. Let's go into our perspective and see what we're having. Let's see if I. Okay, I like that way better. And we can move some of these. I think that works pretty well. So let me go back into and just snap scene view there. And, and voila! <laughs> so I'm pretty happy how that looks. Let's see if we can just place some of these ones. And you can change the size on some of these ones to give it a you know a more diverse look. I could easily just change this one to be 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and then 0.7. And then you can see this one is small. This one is a little larger. You can say that you know meteor two, which is the bigger one, should be 1.2, 1.2, and then 1.2. And there we go. So I made this one bigger instead of making this one bigger but that's fine i think that gives us a variety i i think it's too big let's make it 0 0.9 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 okay i like that better i wanted this one to be a little bigger and i think that i think that wraps it up so that's basically what i wanted to show you guys we completed the scene we have a few more meteors we also have stars so this gives it a little more you know motion style and if you guys have any questions about anything that i mentioned you know, be sure to check out the GitHub page and clone the code and look at what I did. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share this video. Thank you guys.